Welcome to our video. We're going to show you how to make biodiesel in just eight of your minutes. Please go to our website. There's the address. Go to the equipment section and download the valve diagram that you'll find there. You're going to need to refer to it for the rest of the video. This plant is a black infi tank on the left hand side. It has a processor in the middle and it has a wet wash system on the right hand side. We also have the pumps and valves at the bottom of the tank electrical control systems in the middle and there's a fuel dispensing system on the right hand side. The vent at the top of the plant has to be vented outside of the building for safety reasons and there is a drain underneath the wash tank which should be put into your waste recycling system. The first thing we need to do to use this plant is fill it up with oil. So we pour our waste oil through this screen into the in-feed tank. You can see the uh, mesh at the top takes out all the big chunks of food. Then we need to open up the valves at the bottom. Valve number one underneath the tank has to be open, as does valve number three underneath the processor and valve number four. This effectively will take the oil from the tank through the pump and up into the top of the processor. We need to open valve nine, which opens up our side glass. Alright, the processor controls, we have the processor pump, the processor heater and the wash tank pump. We're going to turn on the processor pump here. That is now going to fill up our tank with, with uh, oil. We're going to fill it up to 200 liters. There we go. Once we've done that, we need to close off valve 1 as is shown here. And we need to close off valve 3. That's going to close off our processor. Valve number 4 underneath the processor is left open. And we turn on our heater. Now we basically circulating the oil from the bottom of the tank to the top and our temperature will rise until we get to our reaction temperature. There it is, we're at about 55 degrees. Okay, so now if we look at the top of the processor, we're going to take a sample of oil from the plant, from that valve at the top there. We'll zoom in, you'll see a bit better. Okay, we're going to take our sample of oil. Once that's done, we do our titration according to the titration video which you'll find on this website. Basic safety equipment that we need to use. Gloves, mask and goggles. All right, we're going to mix our catalyst in with the methanol. We're using sodium methylate which is a liquid catalyst, much easier to use. Once that's done, there we are, it's nearly finished. Okay, that's all in there. Once that's done, we turn off the heat on our processor. The oil is still circulating through the plant. We put our little infeed tube into the container and we're going to open and close certain valves which will suck the mixture in. The first valve we need to open is valve 2. There we're opening it now. And then valve 4, which is underneath the processor, we need to partially close. That's already open at the moment. There we're closing it. That forms a vacuum and there uh, on the pump and there it's getting, all the methanol is getting sucked into the machine. We need to get that methanol to go in over a period of about 10 minutes. See the methanol going into the machine in the side glass there, you can see the side glass is rising. That'll give us a good indication of how quickly the methanol is, is getting sucked into the processor. Alright, and then once that's in, we close off those two valves, open the valve 4 underneath the processor and let it circulate for two hours. Once it's circulated for two hours, we tap off a sample from valve 10 at the top again, the same valve we use to tap off our oil sample, and we do our quality control test. You'll, still, you'll find the quality control test on our website as well, homemadebiodiesel.com. If we pass the test, we turn the machine off and we let the glycerine in the plant settle. You can actually see the glycerine layer distinctly here. There it is at the bottom of the side tube with biodiesel floating on top of it. So then all we need to do is drain out our glycerine. We open this valve here at the front of the processor, that's valve number six, and we drain out our glycerine. You'll see the glycerine is very dark and gunky and you'll see now we're getting biodiesel coming out. The mixture is flowing a lot faster because it's thinner and you'll see it will change color. Once that's done we'll t close the valve Finished with the biodiesel processor, we open valve 7 and we open this valve here, which is valve number 12 and uh, 
we put 20 liters of water into our wash tank and then we turn on our pump and we pump all the biodiesel into our wash tank. There you can see the level increasing and you can see it's actually pumping the biodiesel through the water which in effect gives it a preliminary wash. You can actually see the water layer at the bottom of the biodiesel there swirling around in the tank. Right there our tank is now full and we let it settle for a while and once it settles we're going to drain the water out of the bottom of the tank. Alright here we're going to zoom into the picture you can see the distinct layer of biodiesel on top and a layer of water at the bottom. Okay so now draining the water out we're going to open the valve at the bottom of the wash tank there you can see it's opening now and you'll see the layer of biodiesel coming down to the bottom of the cone and you can see how well these conical tanks actually separate the two layers. There it goes. You can see the layer coming down now and as it gets to the bottom close off the valve. Add some more water and we start blowing bubbles of air from the bottom of the tank and this is what it looks like from the top. You can see the water circulating in the tank quite nicely there. This is what our wash water looks like after the first wash. Right, this is our second wash. We're blowing more bubbles. You can see the biodiesel is a little clearer. What we've done here is we've been a bit too violent with our washing. You can see biodiesel at the top, layer of emulsion in the middle, and water at the bottom of the tank. There's no need to panic. Drain off the water, add more water, blow more bubbles. You can see here we've, we've now got biodiesel at the top, a very small amount of emulsion because we've broken it with our extra water, and we've got water at the bottom. Drain off the water and wash it again. This is what our next wash looks like. You can see that the color is clearing up nicely. Okay, now on our final wash, this is what our biodiesel looks like now. It looks more like biodiesel. You can actually see the water circulating nicely in the tank there. Okay, now we drain out all the water and we carry on blowing bubbles of air through it, which in effect dries the biodiesel. This is what it looks like when it's dry. It looks really nice. This is our first wash water, just to show you what it looks like. This is our second wash water, you can see it starts clearing up. This is the water from our third wash. And then we'll show you the water from our next wash. There you go, almost clear. That shows you that the biodiesel got very little soaps left in it. And this is what our final result of the biodiesel looks like. So there we have how to make biodiesel in a video that's less than 8 minutes long. Please visit our website www.homemadebiodiesel.com. We have a lot of information that you'll find very valuable and very interesting. Thanks very much.